Some of the sweetest words in the English vocabulary to ever exist. When you're correct. And some of the most bitter words in the English vocabulary when you are wrong. And fortunately today, Raider Nation, Raider D podcast here is finally correct about something. And that is that Aiden O'Connell has officially been announced QB number one for the rest of the season. And Gardner Minshew will be sitting on the bench. And there is an update on Devontae Adams moving forward. All that and more on today's episode of the Raider D Podcast. Yes, I am wearing sunglasses indoors with all the lights off. And why am I doing that? I am doing it in solidarity, solidarity, with my Raider Nation brother, all aboard Raiders, as the two of us, amongst a handful of other content creators, have been saying that Aiden O'Connell this entire time should have been QB1. And it is now official, as per Coach Antonio Pierce, that Aiden O'Connell moving forward gives us the best chance to actually win games. Who would have thought? The same guy who helped Antonio Pierce get his job last year is now going to be the guy leading the team forward. The guy who and our star wide receiver, Devontae Adams, said that he had all the confidence in the world in, in the offseason. Who believed that Aiden O'Connell was going to be his quarterback week one. And when that was not the case, it was abundantly clear that Devontae Adams was not happy. And I think the rest of the team was not quite so happy that Gardner Minshew, the newcomer, the unproven guy, was simply given QB1 status for nothing more than the fact that he's making $12.5 million a year. The same same exact Mistake that the Raiders made with Jimmy Garoppolo. And that mistake was quickly rectified by Antonio Pierce when he took over as the interim head coach and made Aiden O'Connell the starter for the rest of the season. Now, I don't know if there is some internal dispute going on between coach Antonio Pierce and Tom Telesco and Luke Getze as to who the starting quarterback should be. But one thing that was made abundantly clear today in Antonio Pierce's speech at his press conference was that the decision was his and his alone. Now you remember when he was making the decision pre-week one, he was asked the same question, who would be QB one for the start of the season? And he said, well, me, Tom and Luke will get together and make that decision. This time, however, Antonio Pierce made it very clear that he is the head Raider in charge. And this decision is 100% on his. And on this show, I have been saying for a while now that this needs to be the case. There are too many cooks in the kitchen. You are the head coach. You, Antonio Pierce, are the one who could end up getting fired like the Jets' Robert Sala after five games. It's not going to be Tom Telesco getting fired. It's probably not even going to be Luke Getze getting fired. It's going to be Antonio Pierce because Antonio Pierce is the head coach and Antonio Pierce is the only one without a long history of coaching in the NFL. So the easy target would be Antonio Pierce to be replaced. So he needs to do what he needs to do to make this team better. Number one, and protect his own career. Stop relying on Tom Telesco to make personnel decisions. You are a great judge of character. You've proven that. You're a great judge of playmaker ability. You've proven that. That's why you're now the head coach. And I love to see this because I had just made a video a few days ago questioning whether or not 
Antonio Pierce is going to be the long-term solution as the head coach for the Raiders. I was having my doubts, even though I was one of the biggest ones here on YouTube claim, saying that he needed to be the head coach moving forward. So I am very happy to hear with my own ears and see with my own eyes without sunglasses on when Antonio Pierce came out and said, Aiden O'Connell is going to be the quarterback moving forward. And this decision was his and his alone. No more consulting with this coach. No more consulting with the GM. No more begging for permission or any of that stuff. You're the leader. You're the captain of the ship. You're going down with the ship or you're going to get the ship to the promised land. One of the two. And he took full ownership of it. Another thing that impressed me about this press conference today that we really need to focus on, and this is key. Up until now, I have been criticizing Antonio Pierce for not taking personal responsibility for things. Much like Josh McDaniels used to not do. Well, the two penalties that were a part of the 11 penalty disaster last week against the Broncos, he took full credit that that is on the coaching staff including himself. Those are unforced errors that should not happen. So not only is he criticizing that the, the team, the players, everybody needs to clean up those penalties and the turnovers, but so too does the coaching staff, including himself. Love to see that. That's the type of character that builds trust with your players in that locker room, knowing that you're going to take account for when you screw up, but you're also going to hold them to account for when they do. Now, more good news, and right now this is only speculation picking apart Antonio Pierce's presser, but he was asked about Devontae Adams today. In, in that presser, he said that he had spoke personally to Devontae Adams, and he said Devontae Adams is and always has been a Raider, and as soon as he is healthy, he will play for the Raiders. No more trade talks, no more you know, go ask Devontae's. They had a coming of uh, to terms uh, between the two, apparently. There was something that has happened from Monday to Wednesday where they apparently are now good. He was smiling as he was saying this, that Devontae and him are good. There is no issue. And I think at this point right now, it really had to do with the QB situation. Devontae was not happy with Gardner Minshew. And after he hurt his hamstring and was unable to play and the Raiders rally a win without him, he's seen the writing on the wall that probably Gardner Minshew is going to be the QB for the rest of the season. The Raiders aren't going to win a whole bunch of games and he wanted out. So he talked to his agent and they made a preferred to be traded statement to the Raiders. Well, now him and Antonio Pierce have come to terms. Aiden O'Connell is going to be the QB moving forward for whom he has a great relationship with a lot of chemistry. And he was saying a lot of faith in. And all of a sudden Antonio Pierce is smiling. Everything is kumbaya between him and Devante and the team. No mentions of trades. And Devante, if he is healthy, will play this week. And he is, he is battling through his hamstring issue as well as he has been in the building rehabbing that hamstring. So it looks like, in my opinion... This is maybe what have hap has happened. Him and Antonio had a talk. Antonio informed him, listen, maybe you were right. Gardner's not that great. We're going with AOC, your boy. Stick with the team. At the same time, Robert Sala and the Jets gets fired. Aaron Rodgers does not look like a Pro Bowl quarterback whatsoever. He looks like a guy on life support out there on the field. And there's not a lot of teams right now who are making big offers for Devontae Adams. The only ones that could possibly be making an offer is the New Orleans Saints at this point. They don't have the cap space to afford him, which means the Raiders would have to pay to trade him. And the Raiders have already come out and said, absolutely not. Whoever takes Devontae, if a trade happens, have to pay him the full salary of the remaining season. We won't pay a dime of it. 
And so the pool of availability of a trade to a team that Devontae would want to go to is, is pretty much non-existent at this point in the season. So I think Devontae probably was looking at this and saying, hold on a minute. Uh, let, 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 let me just uh, call my agent here real quick. Uh, yeah, um, agent so and so. Uh, you know, I've kind of been thinking, you know, I love, I love Aaron, but God, he, he looks like he's 65 years old out there on the field. And, you know, Derek Carr is being Derek Carr, a little bit inconsistent, and the, and the Saints uh, have a losing record, and, you know, they can't really afford me anyway. And uh, God, it, it's really cold out there in New York. I mean, they're having hurricanes in the South. Uh, Vegas weather is really getting nice right now. And I kind of like my swimming pool and, oh yeah, by the way, Aiden O'Connell is going to be my QB now. So, um, could you just maybe call, uh, coach Antonio Pierce for me and tell him to give me a ring and, and, uh, maybe tell Tom Telesco to never mind on that whole trade thing. I think I'm just going to stay here in Vegas. I mean, after all, I do have a really nice house. End of story. I don't think Devonte Adams because of this right now, I don't think at least for this year, there's going to be a trade in the the bucket for Devontae Adams and the Raiders. I think Devontae finishes out this season, and then we'll see in the offseason. Is there a contract renegotiation? Can we shave some money off of that $44.1 million that would be owed to him next year to keep him on the team? If everything goes well with him and Aiden O'Connell and we make the playoffs, we have a resurgent. We're the Raiders again. Who knows? Maybe Devontae decides, you know what? I'm finishing my career here. Let's make a deal and get it taken care of. Guys, if you got some value out of this, please hit that subscribe button and uh, share and like this. Drop a comment down below. Are you happy to see we finally have a final decision on QB1? It's going to be Aiden O'Connell. If you're happy about that, drop a comment. And if you hate it, drop a comment. I'll do my best to respond to as many as I can. See you guys in the next video. Let's go Raiders.